Hey everyone, welcome to our latest devlog. This week we're expanding upon some of the awesome stuff that we announced last week with Godot inspired visual scripting. Now we're adding in a bunch of helper methods here, for example, math functions like add and multiply, vector splitting, vector constructing. Also, you can do this all in real time without having to worry about actually writing code. Of course, we'll allow you to write code in the future, and that is definitely on a roadmap. But for now, we give you easy drag and drop methods where even if you don't know how to code, you can, for example, access the Godot process method and then learn Godot actually through making it with no code and then move to code in the future if you wish. We are doing all of this again in real time. So for example, if we're modifying a height map looking over with our friend or could be our colleague, could be our boss, could be an early user who's testing your game out and you want to get their feedback on the best way to set up a map, for example, then you're testing all that in real time. This also goes for other key game components like spawn points, for example, where, for example, on the right, our user sets the green spawn to his location. And then as you're playing, you may think, hey, OK, I've built this side of the map. My buddy's built the other side. Let's test it out. So you ready up, you hit play and bam, you're all playing the game instantaneously from the original spawn point. Another example here, we've imported a fire particle from a PCK file from Godot. And now we're just simply accessing the process method, manipulating the rotation vector. And then from that, we quickly have something working all again in real time that there was no compile step here. This is all done with your friends together. With that, we hope you enjoy and we'd love to see you in the mirror.